Hi, hello and welcome to Dr. Ashwin Dental Info. In this video, I will be answering the most frequently asked question in my Instagram page or in my comment section which is, which book did you read for NEET MDS preparation? Let me answer you first. There are six books which you need to master but it is very easy if you have a proper plan. The six books are the three volumes of Dental Pulse, Volume 1, Volume 2 and Volume 3. If you are following the latest edition, I am not sure if there is a Volume 3 or not. But three volumes of Dental Pulse is the basic thing. It can be Dental Pulse or Dentist, any MCQ book which you feel comfortable with and you must finish that book at least two to three times, which is one time reading and at least two times or three times of revision. The better you revise, the better your rank will be. Uh, let me tell you, the basics of dental pulse will determine the base of your score because if you are writing an exam for 960 marks and the basic mark to get into a government seat will be around ranging 650 or 700. So if you want to fall in that category, you must just master this dental pulse or dentist which you are reading and it will give you a platform. And to go forward or, it, or to get into the top rank, you need to have some add-ons which is the other three books. So I have mentioned six books and three volumes of Dental Pulse and the other three books are the first, the fourth one is your own book which I am meaning to say is the lecture notes. You would have joined an institute or if you, have, if you are preparing for yourself at home, you would have a notes which you prepared in your lectures or in your institute lectures or something like that and that note will be a vital book. I am mentioning it as a book because it will have lots of content and we tend to uh, we tend to underrate it. It is very essential to go through our own notes. And the fifth book will be your previous year question papers whether it is NEET or INACT. Whatever is the, the previous year question papers of around 3 to 4 years must be went through. You need not go into the depths but you have to focus and uh, just know what is asked and you know the pattern of questions like if they have asked about histones. Uh, you just need to know what are histones and what are their functions and where, where, where they come. And if they, are, if, they, if they are mentioning a major histocompatibility complex, you just have to know about these things. You need not go into the depth but you need to, uh, you need to familiarize yourself with those words. And the sixth thing is your SR papers or senior internship question papers of different departments. Uh, if you have dental pulse, uh, it is already compiled with the SR ship book and there are also apps from institutes which provide SR ship uh, books as a particular topic in the, in the app as well and that will really help you. So these are the six books which you need to read. So coming to, uh, coming to the extra reading. So these, if you do all these things perfectly and there is no doubt you will be cracking the exam but there is always an add-on so uh, people will be like i am reading a textbook for now can i read textbooks can i go into textbook reading uh, my preference would be uh, please don't go into textbook readings uh, most of the time unless and until you definitely need to know what the concept really is it is no it is it is of no use getting back into the textbook because you, are, you, are, you must be trained to attend multiple choice questions rather than writing stories or writing concepts. For example, if you are reading Melcher's concept, you just need to know if a bone cell comes, this is the effect. If a PDL cell comes, this is the effect. If an epithelial cell comes, this is the effect. You need not memorize the whole definition. But this is what means to read a textbook reading because you need to know what the concept is trying to tell but you need not read your textbook. You just need to mark your important points and store it in your mind. If you are going to read the whole concept of Melchers, it is not going to be in use. It is just one question. You already have 239 questions left over. You must practice a lot of MCQs for that. So you have finished all the six books. Meaning to say you cannot finish all these things but you have satisfactorily completed or revised somewhat all these six books and you just want to go to the next level. So uh, the best thing you can do is you will have a uh, uh, you will have frequent exams and mock tests in whichever institute you have joined. Uh, it is better to go through the mock papers. It will have 100 to 200 questions and it will have internal questions also. For example, uh, if someone is asking you what is the ganglion related to the, to the facial nerve and the options are like aortic ganglion, ciliary ganglion, pterygopalatine ganglion, geni geniculate ganglion and you get the answer as geniculate ganglion, you can always refer 
what the what other questions can be framed from the other answers for example what is the nerve associated with the aortic ganglion and things like that and it will take a uh, two to three hours to finish or analyze a complete paper it is always optional it is not an absolute necessity but this is an add on you can do and uh, that's it and and the other standard things which you need to know are about the covid vaccines uh, about the corona virus in particular because it is a trending topic nowadays and also the recent advances in dentistry like uh, uh, like invisalign and the images or uh, or uh, image based techniques uh, image based questions which you may get uh it is always it is always essential to come back to your basic dental pulse and those three questions so to give you as a prescription this is like a drug prescription which i would like to say uh dental pulse three volumes three times a year uh sr questions one time at the end of your preparation previous year questions one time during your during a start and the last time before your examinations own notes Uh, own own notes meaning to say own lecture notes or or your own notes as and when needed so this is the this is my prescription as per my opinion and which i followed for my preparation in a, in my mds journey um, the detailed videos of particular books or or, or particular how to read sr questions and how to read previous year question papers if you need please do let me know in the comment section if you find this video useful give me a like and press the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will get the recent updates of my videos i'm also planning to take lectures on particular topics which uh, which i felt difficult to understand but now i am somewhat sure of what uh, what it is exactly i always felt that whatever a student feels difficult other people also will feel difficult so i would like to share my points on my points or my views on those topics if you feel any topic difficult please do let me know in the comment box or in my instagram page i have, I have linked the i have given the link in the description below thank you